Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Lynn Dunn and today I want to show um, a bunch of different projects that I created with the new uh, Wood Textures designer paper. So I'm going to show you um, some fun patterns that you can put together and uh, some different ways that you can use up the scraps. So I have been creating a variety of different projects um, with this designer paper and um, let me show you I'm going to move some of these projects because we are going to get started but I'm just going to show you some of the different patterns of the designer paper so the wood textures designer paper um, comes in a variety of different patterns and I just love the patterns because they look so realistic so I've been creating a variety of different projects um, with this paper and the paper comes in a six by six pack. So typically when I was using um, the different patterns of this paper, uh, I would cut the, the paper down to about a five and a quarter by four inch size um, for a lot of the projects that I created. So what happened was I ended up with a bunch of little pieces like this. Um, so, you know, when you cut down a six by six piece of paper um, and you cut it at the size I just mentioned, you end up with um, strips of paper that are about uh, three quarters inch wide. And I have varying different uh, lengths of paper here. So because I love this paper so much, um, I really wanted to, to do something with the scraps. I didn't want to throw them out um, because, as we all know, we love to save paper and we love to save scraps. So I decided that I was going to try to create something with this. And then I came up with um, this fun little herringbone pattern. So I am going to show you how to make this little pattern. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that I did is, <clears throat> excuse me, I cut a, uh, just, you can use any color cardstock that you want. Um, I ch happen to chose, uh, choose crumb cake, so we're going to use the crumb cake cardstock, but you can choose a darker uh, color. Um, you could probably even choose like a yellow because you're not going to see the cardstock once we lay all these pieces on there. So you're going to cut your cardstock to five and a quarter. So this is five and a quarter, and this side is four. Um, you can really cut your cardstock uh, at any size that you like, but I decided to cut it at this size so that when I create my project, it will cover pretty much the entire um, card front. All right. And then you're just going to, um, so I have all my little scraps of paper here, and you're just going to pick any one of them. And what you want to do is you want to start in one of the corners. Um, doesn't matter which corner you start in, but you want to start in one of the corners. So I am just going to adhere this, and I'm just using um, regular snail adhesive. So let's see, I'm going to do it this way so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit here. Um, and I tried to line it up. I tried to line this up kind of with the end of the cardstock there and just push it down. And then you can just start taking some of your other pieces and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be butting them right up against um, the piece that you just that you just adhered. So that's how you're going to make your herringbone uh, pattern. Now you'll notice that this particular piece is just not long enough. So let me find a piece that is long enough to go across the cardstock. That one should do it. So I'm going to put some tape on this and then all I'm going to do is just butt this right up against the other one. Now um, before I do that I'm going to show you that one of the projects I put together today um, which is this one you'll notice that there's a space in between uh, the pieces of wood that I adhered here. So if you want to create 
you know, your herringbone pattern with this kind of grout look in the middle there, then instead of, instead of putting this directly up against the wood, you'll want to, you know, kind of back it up a little bit so that you have a little opening here. Um, so it kind of gives it that grout look. But for, um, for this card, I'm just going to put these right next to each other. So put that one on there. So you can see I have the start of my herringbone pattern. Now I'm going to take another piece and now I want to run this one up against this piece that I just added. So I will add that piece. And really it's just going to be a back and forth adding of the card or the uh, the designer paper here. So there's that one. And then I'm going to choose a different pattern. Let's see. Yeah, that one looks pretty good, so we'll put that one on there. All right. And again, you're just going to keep going back and forth and back and forth uh, to make this design. Hi, Mary. I'm going to try to say hi to you guys as I'm doing this. Um, but sometimes it's hard to talk to you and do this at the same time, so let's see what else. I'm going to find a little lighter pattern for over here. All right, so let's put, let's put this one on. And you'll notice as I do this that it's going to kind of stick to the paper, but that's okay. So we're just going to keep going along adding these pieces. Let's add this piece. A little bit of snail on there. We'll add that piece. And like I said, I have a bunch of scrap pieces here, so this is working out perfect. Add another one here. Oops. Gotta add a little bit more tape. Okay, so you notice how I'm going back and forth. So that you know you end up with this kind of um, design where you know the two pieces of wood meet okay um, let's see what else can we do I will add a couple more pieces here and then I'll show you how how we're gonna get all these extra pieces off so that one's not gonna be long enough there let's try here put that piece there turn this now I know it kind of looks like a mess, but don't worry, it will get better. It'll look beautiful when it's all put together. Thank you, Anne. I appreciate your comments. This is my favorite design. I've had so much fun with this wood paper. I've actually created um, seven different projects to show to you today. So as soon as I get this together, I will show you all the fun things that I made. And I'll put that one on there. Okay, just a couple more spots here. I think what I'm going to do, um, since we only have little, little sections left, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. So this is what it looks like on the back side. You can kind of see that I... As I ran the pattern, I just overlapped it so that it just hung off the cardstock. All right, all I'm going to do now is just trim it. So you take your scissors and you're just going to trim these extra pieces off. And <laughs> funny thing happened as I was trimming these extra pieces off with the couple of um, cards that I made, I realized, geez, I can really use those pieces as well. So I'll show you a card that I designed with these little tiny pieces. So we're just going to cut all the way around the card. Take that off. And we'll just cut all these hunks of paper off. There's a couple more. And you can start to see how it looks, how perfect it looks once you start to cut those um, those end pieces off. So I'm just going to cut off the rest of these real quick. 
I'll try to make it quick. Sorry, this is live. I can't edit all this cutting and taping out like I can normally. <laughs> so you'll have to put up with it. Uh, let's see. A couple more. And because I got tape all over it, they're sticking to everything. So, and this is the last side. So let's cut these off. So these little pieces that I'm cutting off, I'm going to use these to fill in the rest of the card, or I should say, um, the rest of this card stuck. All right. Yeah. So I get tape everywhere. Oops. Sorry, guys. Okay. So here's what it looks like so far. So you can see that I have some pieces here that I need to add. So these little pieces that I just cut off work perfect for covering up the end pieces. So you don't have to use a big long piece. You can use these little tiny scraps. So you can see I'm putting a little tape on, on this one. And you can put it right on the end here. So we'll cover up that corner like that. And then let's see what else do I got here. I got some other ones that I can use. Um, is this a good one? Might be. Might be a little small. That one's a little too small. I think this one's a bigger one. Let's see. Does that one whoop? Does this one work? No, oh, we could put that one in. We'll have to put one of these in here. Ah. Okay, I'm going to add this one. So I'm going to add this one here. And then I have a little tiny spot because, you know, we're all perfectionists. i got to put just a little tiny piece in there. No, not that one. Not that color. Let's put this color. Thanks, Regina. Uh, I need some more tape on there. Alright, put that one in there. And I got one more spot on the end, so we'll just put this one on the end. Okay, so there we go. So that's how you cover the whole entire piece of cardstock. Now I'm just going to snip these off, and I'll show you what it looks like. So let me get these off of here. So have any of you played with this new designer paper? It's a lot of fun. You know, I, right now I'm just showing you some fun ways to use the scraps, but I've used this designer paper um, actually with the daisy set uh, quite a bit. And I also did some, um, did some orchids on some of this wood paper. It's just so much fun to play with. All right. There. Now you have it. It is finished. And so now comes the fun part. Well, I mean, I thought that was fun too, but maybe it wasn't as fun for you, but it was fun for me. Um, so now let's take a look at how we can decorate this. So one of the things that I tried to accomplish when I was um, putting these projects together is I just loved the pattern, how this looks. Um, and as you can see, I used all different uh, colors and different shades and textures of wood. I didn't just stick with just one wood pattern. You can certainly stick with just one wood pattern, um, but I really liked all the different colors in there. It just looks so rich. Um, so when I decorated these, I was a little bit challenged because I didn't want to cover up this beautiful pattern. So let me show you some of the things that I put together with this. So the first one, the very first one that I created was this particular project. Um, and so you can see, it, you know, in this one, I did the wood pattern. I started it um, on this side, actually, right here. So when I started layering the wood, I put my first piece here and then layered all the way down so that my herringbone effect was up a little bit so that I could decorate the bottom of the card. 
Um, so that's one. I just added, you know, a little bit of linen thread and um, some of the wood embellishments um, that Stampin' Up! has. And this one turned out just really super cute. Hi, Judith. From Madison, Wisconsin. All right. Welcome. I live in Sussex, Wisconsin. I don't know if any of you knew that. Um, so, Judith, you are not too far from me. All right. Then um, here's another one that I put together. So this one, um, I decided to stamp the sentiment right on one of the wood patterns. And then I just embellished um, the side of the card with a couple of the leaves. Um, this is from the Colorful Seasons, uh, or uh, I forget the Seasons, Seasonal Layers, I believe is the name of the die set. Um, so I just embellished it. This is just a very quick and simple card. And then, um, of course, I wanted to make, because I'm working with a wood pattern here, I wanted to do something, something simple, something that I can use for a masculine card. Um, so I just cut out this little birthday sentiment. It's a die cut. And then I just adhered it to um, one of the wood patterns that I had put together. Just very quick and simple, but it would make a great masculine birthday card. All right. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, what else do I have here? I also um, put together this particular card. And this card uh, showcases just some of the little star embellishments. I thought it was kind of fun just to make a card that, you know, I can give out to maybe one of my team members because I have a fabulous team. Um, or I can use it for just about anything. But I embellished it with these little wood, wooden stars, and then um, I have a couple little gold stars on there. I don't know if you can really see the gold that well on here. but um, So you'll notice as I put these projects together how I tried to kind of offset whatever embellishments I was going to put on. I kind of put it off to the side so that it wouldn't take away from the beautiful herringbone pattern that is here. So. So that's another card idea for you. And then um, this one I actually decided to, I had a, I think this is about a four by four piece of cardstock. So I had a scrap piece just kind of laying around and decided to make a little smaller one. So remember um, the one that I showed you earlier, this one is made on a five and a quarter by four inch piece. And this particular pattern was made on a much smaller um, square cardstock piece. But I thought it was a nice little accent for the card and then I added, um, you know, a little doily and some of those wood elements. Um, I have a couple little, uh, like, uh, very vanilla um, flowers in here. Um, so it's just kind of a nice little accent. Uh, what else do I have for you? Oh, this is one of my favorites. I'm actually saving my favorites for last. Of course, I like them all. Um, but these are uh, two cards that I'm about to show you um, are kind of my favorites. So this one, as I mentioned earlier, um, so you'll notice the difference. Let me bring these two patterns together here. So notice there's the space in between here. And notice when I put this pattern together, there's no space. Um, so when I did this pattern, um, this is the one that I did the session, the, the tutorial for you guys today on, where you just butt it right up against um, each piece of wood as you go along. In this particular card, instead of butting it right up against the other piece of wood, you just leave a very small opening there, um, and it kind of gives it that grout effect behind um, the project. So in this particular case, you would have to choose a color of cardstock for your background that kind of brings out the color of the wood. And in this one, I used all the same uh, pattern. So I just really like the gray and um, how this one turned out. And then I just embellished it with um, some of the fun die cuts that are in that seasonal layers um, die cut set. So. So I really love this card. This one's a lot of fun. Thank you, Mary. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. Um, and then the last project that I have, um, which this one I think I shared with all of you yesterday, 
Um, this one is just one of my favorites, and I got this this idea for layering the um, the squares from one of my fellow demonstrators. Uh, she had made such a beautiful card with layering squares, and I thought, wow, the layering squares would be beautiful with some of these prints on it. So, as I mentioned earlier, remember I had all these, I have all these little scraps of, that were extra, so let me pull this down a little bit, that I cut off, you know, when I, when I made this, I cut off all these little extra pieces. Well, you can take these little extra pieces and all you're going to do is just, you can cut out, um, you can just cut them on an angle and uh, add them right to your card. So some of these pieces are already cut on an angle. Um, so all I did was cut like a, uh, let's see what size was this. This is one and a quarter by one and a quarter. That's the outer part of the square. So the, the early espresso um, card stock, that is, that is one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And then the inside square, you know, is made up of all four pieces here. Um, so the inside square is one inch. So you can you can actually take a one inch piece of cardstock, and you can just I'm sorry, not cardstock, uh, designer paper, and you can just cut it in half, and then you can cut the halves in half again to get all your little um, triangular pieces for the square. So yes, Wendy, I agree. This is my favorite so far. It's very quick and simple. Um, as far as the design goes, the design is simple. It's a little bit putsy to make these squares, but it just, it has such a beautiful effect. So, um, so I think that was all I wanted to show you. Uh, like I said, I've had a lot of fun with this paper. Um, so if you're not sure what to do with all of your scraps, because I know that, you know, all of us have a lot of scraps. Um, whether you use the wood textured designer paper like I do, I have a lot of scraps of this wood, or whether you use just regular scraps um, to create some of these fun projects, uh, you know, this will work with pretty much just about anything, um, any kind of designer paper, not just the wood. But I just love the look of the wood. So let me show you. I'll lay these down one more time. Here's one of my favorites. Um, let me move some of these out of the way in case some of you missed it. Here's the star. Here's the happy birthday. Here's a little thinking of you. My hello friend. And some of the other ones, the thank you. And these last two are my favorite, so we'll have to put those on the top, right? So... So I think that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that um, you have learned some fun ways to use up some of your scrap papers and to create these beautiful herringbone um, patterns and, and different textures for your projects. So I hope all of you have a wonderful day and thanks so much for joining me. And don't worry, Wendy, I see your comment. If you missed the beginning of the video, um, this video is being recorded so you guys can watch it over and over again. So thanks so much. Have a great day, everybody.